going on everybody we are back again with another video this is the canon rebel t3i this is the canon camera that we purchased from ebay and we've been on our way to rebuild this beautiful camera it was just a body it said it had a couple of issues with the camera but everything so far is is functioning fine lens was not included so i had to purchase the lens separately you know i'm just getting started with that note we got our first our first camera aftermarket attachment a external microphone attachment which is our first attachment for this beautiful canon camera let's get to it baby so what we're going to do is we're going to dig down in here do our little custom box opening now that's very unprofessional the way that we're doing it but um the way that we are going to do it today. There we go. Get this box open up for you guys. Woo-hoo-hoo! What do we have here, ladies and gentlemen? So we have this universal microphone here, which we can attach to our Canon camera. The model. These are some features on here. Just in case any of you guys were interested in the specs, I'm just interested in, you know, getting this bad boy installed. Here we go. This is some information for it's pretty much going over some information on the cable. Alright, first thing out the box is going to be our hardware to mount that microphone audio cables all right i'm gonna put that off to the side uh we got a case here just in case you want to you know transport your microphone this is a nice leather too let me smell it oh my gosh that smells like fish Ugh. 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 this is the microphone where it already has your fairy windshield it's the aux port to connect it. You can kind of see the microphone inside there a little bit. Let's go ahead and put that back on. Let's figure out how to get this thing installed on our camera. So what I'm going to do is just slide it on through. Slide it through again. There we go. And we're going to tighten it down. Now let's go ahead and take our microphone and we're gonna just slightly push this microphone in. Yeah, we gotta put it in. So, there we go, we got a little free ball creature up there. Now what we're gonna do is connect this to our aux port. So this is our microphone mic port here. Get this and connect it. video audio so what we're gonna do on our camera we're gonna press menu and from menu so now what we're gonna do is we're going to go over one tab and where it says sound recording we're gonna set that bad boy to manual all right so now that you can see is that our camera is now basically uh, recording audio from our Goya mic and as you can see there's less um, you know background sounds that's being picked up now if I change this back to audio as you guys can see on audio the internal microphone on our Canon camera is picking up a lot of background noise so let's set that back to manual and we have less background noise so let's go ahead and test out our boya microphone
All right, guys. So, what I want to do is to pretty much I want to do a test. I want to do an audio test. So we're gonna begin the audio test. This is a audio test. I am standing in front of the camera. Again, this is a audio test, guys. Raising my voice, lower my voice. Raising my voice, lower my voice. This is a audio test. All right, guys, this is a audio test. Raising my voice, lower my voice. Raising my voice, lower my voice. This is an audio test, guys. So guys, what I also want to do is to actually do a test with music. So we're gonna test music. We're also gonna test surrounding sounds so you guys can also get a test of that. To me, it's like with high-pitched sounds, it's just too raspy, like it's just too much that it can't handle. I'm gonna turn up the bass so you guys can kind of get some bass up in there too. So we did a audio test of being outdoors, you know, being around a loud environment such as, you know, cars drifting. Um, we also did a audio test of music. This microphone could do better than what we actually tested before. Right now we're using the stock uh, audio cable that came with the Boya mic. Um, as you guys can see from that video, uh, the internal microphone, it was picking up a lot of background noise. Even though right now in my furnace room, there's not much going on. Based on my experience, the audio is very projective when you're recording something in front of you. Um, however, whenever you're recording sound behind you, it's like, uh, okay, uh, sounds a little far away. But whenever the object or person is in front of you, um, the Boya microphone is able to capture that audio easy easy these are the two cables that comes with your boya microphone this cable is compatible with your dslr camera this cable is only compatible with your smartphone i did try once somehow lost this cable and i was like okay well i have another cable and i looked at it i was like okay it says microphone but then it also says smartphone so i was like hmm okay well let's just give it a shot so I gave it a shot and I did a video recording, ended up finding out that I had no audio, absolutely no audio. So I'm just like, hmm, that's quite interesting. Reading the instructions, it basically states that this is audio cable for smartphones. And this is supposed to be the audio cable for DSLR cameras, okay? So hopefully guys, you're able to hear me over the furnace. Um, and hopefully the furnace being on uh, was able to kind of provide you guys a good example of, you know, background noise. <laughs> 